paddles into this kind of configuration, which is a, a, a kayak. We just take the oars apart, take the brace off, the telescopic oar slides into the other oar, and, uh, and, and, and away we go with a, in, a, in a kayak motion. Normally, uh, we, we, you might want to use a kayak, uh, say in a high wind or whatever, or if maybe that's something that you, that you like to do just as a change. We also do this. For people who, you know, say are tired of standing or whatever, you can sit down on the shoes. You can also uh, do the, take a, ch a small chair and sit, on, sit in a small chair like a, a lawn chair, or aluminum lawn chair with a we webbing, you know, and sit in the chair and you can, uh, you can use that, sit down on it and, and paddle. Some people might have a beach, some people might have a pier, some people might now, have a pier. Now be advised, in this case here now, we have a, we have a hard surface shore line. And, uh, but we realize a lot of people might not have a hard surface shoreline to work from. They might be on a beach, or they might be uh, working off a pier, or they might be uh, working uh, uh, in, in some other type area. Uh, maybe they're working off a, a boat. Say that you, you have a, a yacht and you're going to get off the yacht into, onto the water shoes. Um, because the water shoes are stable and have a low profile, you can get on the shoes and sit all kind of different ways. Now normally here what we're going to do is walk out by ankle deep, well a little more almost knee deep, and hop on the shoes. What we're trying to show here is that uh, you don't need a hard shoreline. And in contrast to a canoe or kayak, if you uh, say uh, had a canoe or kayak, is it this easy to, to recover or get on a canoe or kayak?